So we got to talk about the current bill situation and kind of sure. what's what's been happening in the past couple of years. So at what point yeah. being a journalist, do you report on rumors or uh, thoughts without the league? Because I believe last year we didn't hear too much about Diggs coming to Buffalo. We actually heard more about it the year prior to that. Uh, with the whole Minnesota Vikings wanting to trade him and everything. And this year, J.J. Watt gets released by the Texans, and Bills fans are drawing lines. He had a blue heart and a red heart in one of his tweets, so it must mean he's coming to Buffalo. His wife's eating wings. So at what point, being a journalist, do you actually report on some of this stuff, or do you ever let things slip under the rug? Well, no. I mean, this commands attention. Mm -hmm. The story commands attention, period, because for this very simple reason. It's it's been identified uh, edge rusher, pass rusher as a top need. I mm-hmm. think it's the most pressing need for the team. However, they go about addressing it, whether it's the draft or free agency. I think you know it, it's. I, I'd be inclined to think it's more of a draft pick idea, but the but this was remember what is different than say uh, a Shaq Barrett from the Buccaneers entering free agency uh, or a Bud Dupree. Mm-hmm. Uh, because I think the market for those players is likely to be higher. There is, there are more, uh, they're, they're younger and, and presumably healthier players. Although Dupree was hurt, but to the degree that you're talking about Watt as a veteran. And I think he, he, appro- he's into this market now and available. Um, of course, the, the conversation is going to start mm-hmm. be out there. I should say to the extent that, okay, you, do you kick the tires on this guy? Well, yeah, I, it makes sense. And we've seen those reports that mm. they're among the teams. And I would be shocked if they weren't among, what, a half dozen or so teams. I would think that, you know, he, what his representation would have interest pretty much everywhere right. to goal number one, keep his keep his standard contractually as high as he can keep it. I think it's going to be a, a challenge, uh, you know, as a, mm. as a free agent. And again, the years and the injuries and all those, but he is worth the fit. I think would be excellent as a as a character, as a character mm-hmm. fit, as the type of player person. You know the whole Sean McDermott program. You know the need is there. Um, how much do you get out of him? But then that all goes along with how much you have to pay him. And the what the Bills, where the Bills have been really strong, where Brandon Bean has excelled, is identifying these cases. You know, with Diggs, he saw a player that he knew wanted out of Minnesota. He mm-hmm. couldn't. Diggs was pretty public about that, even if he won't admit those specific words in any round and every roundabout way. He made it clear. Everyone sort of knew he wants out social public media and being on the record said, I saw his tweets or his posts or, or whatever their staff saw. He saw that as an opening mm-hmm. to say, hey, do you guys want to talk about a trade? So that's how that happens when you identify it. Now this is different. Uh, this is not a trade. This is this is an, uh, an open market guy who who, that, who could fulfill a need. Will the price be right for for the cap being where it is? Um, I know this team wants to go down the road of doing a long term deal with Josh Allen, mm-hmm. uh, and I'm sure they will sooner rather than later. So everything has to fit. But uh, sure, it, it it could happen. And rumor wise, I don't I don't put that in the to me, a rumor is he's signed, it's done, sure. or or he's about to sign. And where did it come from? Where's the information? Oh, you you this day and age, you have to pay attention to everything that's out there and then vet it. Is it is it is it credible? Mm-hmm. Does it have you know? And and the, I know there's the and I I say this lovingly and laughingly because I've known him forever. But Adam Schefter mm-hmm. and I go back many years when he was you know working in Denver. Uh, and I and I I, I had the, the pleasure of helping with his uh, getting his first book deal uh, that he did on Mike Shanahan using the same literary agent I had, and we, and we were you know we we've been close even before that, but we had that bond and and he's the guy you can talk to on a regular basis, whatever. And I know the Adam Schefter test of things is if Adam says it, it's probably ha- happening. So uh, you give it you give something that sort of test he takes the occasional five minute vacation mm-hmm. but he usually he's usually <laughs> on all the time and i don't i don't i don't do what he does uh, by any extent uh and i know his his deal is talking to everybody 24 7 never sleep uh and he's plugged in everywhere sure. and, and he's great at what he does so i haven't seen that yet but if i saw something like that regardless of the story 
and, and it involves the bills, you say, okay, yeah. there's something here you better you better get to.